What's up everyone, today we have this. It's the Fio K5 Pro headphone amp. So, like the title says, we're unboxing it and there will be a demo of this, but I can't exactly tell you what I think of it because it's a headphone amplifier, not a speaker amplifier. So everyone's hearing a little different. But I do have a nice set of headphones I can test this with, but that will be in that unboxing video. Along, will be with the test, so. Uh, be sure to check out that other video. I'll link it in the description below. So, time to unbox it. It's surprisingly heavy, I have to say. Okay, accessories and the amplifier. Okay, so about the size I expected it to be. Three inputs, USB, L, which is line in, and three, which says S, is for the digital inputs. Like the optical input back there and the coaxial in. Although I thought coaxial meant those those little things you screwed into the wall for like TV or TV and stuff like that. Whatever, could have different meanings. So let's see our inputs, the set of inputs. We have USB in, so that's from your computer. Of course we have power, that you need that. Um, line in and line out. Line out's for speakers, line in is for uh, an analog signal. And we have digital in coaxial and optical. I'm going to be using USB. I'll be using it with my computer. Inside here they include a USB cable. Um, it's just your regular USB A to USB um, type B, the printer cable. We like, I like to call this a printer cable. It comes with a Quarter inch headphone jack to three and a half millimeter jack. Right here. Pretty nice one. That would go here in case you want to plug in some three and a half millimeter headphones. We also have a clover leaf power cable, which then goes to the included power supply, which is clover leaf. There it is. Output, here it is, if you want to look. There you go. Interestingly enough, it comes with an extra set of feet, which is essentially 3M electronics uh, adhesive uh, rubber foots or something, I don't know. They replace these, I don't know, in case they go bad. Anyway, let's look at this thing. In the front, of course, we have the headphone jack. We have gain, which is, I guess, how much power it outputs. They said number two is good enough for most headphones, so I'll either try one or two. And I'll leave input on number one for USB. And the, the volume wheel is pretty nice. Feels like solid metal. Mm, feels high quality. Uh, it's also the power switch, so when you put it off, the entire unit is off. Um, so yeah, let's plug it in and just see how it looks when it's powered on. Now I have three windows open on my computer, and these are the properties of the, the, the new Fio K5 amplifier. So, if I zoom out, I'm going to zoom back in on the amplifier, which is now down there. Um, Normally, the, the glow around the, that volume knob is blue, but since it's, out, since it's detecting high quality audio, well, high res audio, it turns green. Because I've set the window settings, let's look right there, to 384,000 hertz. 
but I feel a little ripped off by this because the the Amazon page describes this amplifier as to support 768 kilohertz with 32-bit um, audio. Yes, it has a 32-bit, but only 384,000 with the stock Windows driver. Notice how I say that because I'm going to do some research. I don't know if this is true. I might just be wasting my time with this, but I'm going to look for a driver that can support 768 kilohertz in Windows. Because yes, I know none of the audio files I have are that of, of that kind of quality, so I'll never be able to hear it. Uh, but I want it anyway, you know? Because why not? Anyway, here it is, uh, speaker properties. I also installed the, the FIO, um, or FIO, I don't know however you say that, F-I-I-O um, control panel, which I'll link in the description. Uh, if I forget to link in the description like I normally do, I'll probably forget to link the one about that backup power supply I made a couple days ago, a few days ago. Uh, well, whatever, if I forget, just tell me in the comments and I will, I'll edit the description. Anyway, here we go, status. Uh, it's currently sampling at 384,000. I want it to go to 768 because, you know, it can support it. Format, two channels, 32 bits. It also has 16 bits in case 32 doesn't work. Uh, I put it on the highest buffer rate. And not sure why there's safe mode because when I disable it, the latency goes down. But the number of samples also goes down, so whatever. Leave it on. I'll play with it a little later. And info just tells me about the about the amp. Oh my god, I forgot to show that. And that's why I should always look at the camera instead of the monitor. Alright, you heard me say that, so just going from left to right, you can see it. Alright, that's the control panel. It's pretty basic. Uh, I Notice how over there I disabled all my audio devices. Oh wait, I have to close this window first. Notice that I've disabled all the other audio devices and just this one is active. And we configure the speakers. Sure, I can call it full range and all that. Alright, so that is the amplifier and its software, which will hopefully be linked in the description. Um, once again, there it is. And that's really it for this video. Um, the demo will be in, the, in another unboxing, which will be linked in the description. It's actually of some headphones, and I'm about, I'm about to film that right now. So, uh, see you in a bit.